We said, hey, I think we can do something bigger, something more impactful. So I'm Nicholas, one of the three co-leads in CMSC. Uh, CMSC is actually a volunteer-run volunteer -run organization. I'm Fatima at the Advocacy and Communication Department. So apart from casework, I mainly do student outreach. We actually came together around April last year and we said, hey, I think we can do something bigger, something more impactful. Um, and that was how CMSC was born. It was in 2009 by NTUC, National Trade Union, and also the Singapore National Employer Federation. The main reason for the establishment is to protect the welfare of migrant workers, especially with regards to work-related matters. If the employer compromises on public health, then it's the brothers that suffer. So we work both ways, both with the brothers, but also with employers and uh, dormitory operators. First, we have the Settle In program. It is compulsory for all newly arrived uh, work permit migrant workers. At this course, they will learn about their employment rights, learn about their social norms of Singapore and the culture of Singapore. If the migrant workers has any issues, they can always call to our helpline. It's a 24-7 helpline, so we're always there for them. This helpline operates in their migrant workers' native language, which means that we have staff that can speak Bengali, Tamil, Chinese. Being able to tap on what you're learning in school, we had a lot of undergraduates coming in and they were specialising in different disciplines, whether it's psychology, whether it's sociology, even the law students were helping with casework and legal cases. If um, students would like to volunteer, it's definitely out of their initiative. For example, a fundraising, making a video for the workers, or even making games to engage the fellow students to learn more about the migrant workers. I think we couldn't, wouldn't have been able to do like a lot of operations work. We wouldn't have been able to do a lot of content building. Our entire social media page is managed by you. Youth, of course, they are very important because they are our future. They are going to be the leaders of tomorrow. We were like basically karaoke, YouTube screen share. And then there were lyrics and uh, the brothers were singing and our new volunteers started learning Bengali song and she was singing over there. And that helped create that personal relationship with this community. We host a Christmas carnival. It was by Hua Chong Institution and the group is called Project Embrace. They decorated the open space of the dormitory. What impressed me the most was the students actually went to them and then, you know, say like, hey brother, we're having a carnival. Please come and join us, you know. For you volunteers, you need to remember the purpose of the programs. The simplest thing you can do is just to acknowledge their work they have done for the migrant workers that will be very heartwarming and that will be enough.